We recently said that we believe Solana can get to $1,000 in this bull market cycle, but we might have been selling ourselves short as more things are happening on the Solana network. As Fire Dancer draws near, we have an updated price target, price analysis for Solana for 2024, and we believe $1,000 now could potentially be part of the worst case scenario. I'll explain exactly what I mean, why I mean it, and we'll take a look at some charts, how Solana... Uh, just barely scraped by a potential massive spill off against Bitcoin. We'll look at that chart. We'll also take a look at uh, Solana versus USDT and what are some price targets and what is Solana looking to do as far as price action? As you can see here from Coin Market Cap, they are the top gainer over the last 24 hours in the top 10, up almost 8%, currently sitting at $169.76. Solana is a very retail heavy coin, a very retail heavy blockchain. And so it's served it very well so far, and retail really isn't even here yet. And so that is one of the reasons. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart I kind of alluded to. So um, we, we skated potential crisis here. So this is Solana versus BTC on the daily. And there was a pattern here that was about to unfold until it got invalidated. And that is a head and shoulders pattern on the Solana versus BTC. As you can see here, we came in, we put in this right shoulder, we broke the neckline to the downside. Typically, we sh what we should have seen is, and I'll measure this, uh, and I'll measure this move here. What we should have seen is around a, f the measured move here was a 49% drawdown against BTC for Solana, but, but, but good news as that was invalidated as price pierced through the neckline again in one single daily candle, we consolidated a little bit above. And on top of it, we came back to retest the neckline and it held up as support. And we are currently making headway against BTC on the Solana chart. Now, again, towards the end of the video, we'll take a look at Solana versus the dollar. But why did I say that a thousand bucks might be on the lower end of what we potentially believe Solana can get to? Let's talk about it. This is one reason, right? People use the chain. People have to buy the tokens, price goes up. People speculate, price goes up. Solana has both. Let's take a look here from Marty Party on X. Solana daily active users just exploded, as you can see here, crossing that 2 million threshold over the last few days. This chart here, uh, the green, has been going vertical. What can it get to? And again, I mentioned, retail isn't even here yet. This is all money that has been in the cryptocurrency ecosystem since the last market cycle. It's just sloshing around from one chain to the next for one project, one meme coin, one DEX, one another. What will happen? What are this number going to look like? What will the chart look like when the masses start to pour in? The retail that is not here yet, as they see how amazing Solana is, the apps, the dApps that are being built on the protocol that are available on the protocol, how user-friendly, practical, and easy to use are. Um, this could potentially be very, very massive. You take a look here, uh, people building on Solana. You can see here core developers over the last 30 days is up 7%, sitting at 76. And code commits over the last 30 days as well. That is up over 21% as we've seen 594 code commits. Now, why is this important? That means people are building on Solana. Developers are building. They're coming. They're staying. They're building amazing projects for the retail to come in and use. Also, another potential big catalyst is a Solana ETF. We got the Bitcoin ETF. The Ethereum ETF was dead in the water up until two days before the deadline, which uh, SEC came in. They approved the 19 B4s. Well, if Ethereum's ETF got approved, we can only assume and, assume and extrapolate in the future that there will be more altcoin ETFs. Now, what is the one that makes the most amount of sense? The one that is retail driven, the one that has a large network, the one that's gotten a lot of fundraising, right? Venture capital loves it. Investors love it. We take a look here from CryptoRank. Solana raised a total of $360 million dollars. So they got big money behind it, uh, big money such as Andreessen Horowitz, Polychain Capital, Jump Trading, and much, much more. Uh, they will probably have a say in a push to get a Solana ETF filed. On top of that, we know the likes of BlackRock, Fidelity, they like making money. Well, what's the next chain that makes a lot of sense? Solana, you can throw XRP in there, but our bet is that Solana would potentially be the next altcoin to get an ETF, opening the door, providing the rails for TradFi, 
for Wall Street, for the average person who does not want to go to a cryptocurrency exchange to get exposure to Solana, bringing in that buying pressure, just like it did for Bitcoin, which took the price from 40 to 60,000, and which saw the price of Bitcoin rebound from 52 to 65,000, all thanks to the ETF because of those massive ETF flows as Wall Street bought the dip. So this will bring price stability and initially a big price shock to Solana. And also the, the big thing for me, the reason I'm so bullish on Solana is they build practical dApps. Dapps that I can send a link to my friend who maybe has no idea about crypto. They can download a wallet, they can click on a link and they can use it. It's easy, it's fun, it's exciting and it's very user friendly. Take a look here from uh, Use Moonshot and they're constantly building things that, that no one's really built and it's all geared towards the end user. Take a look here. Launches Moonshot, the first ever iOS app that allows users to buy and sell meme coins on the Solana blockchain using Apple Pay. We talk about breaking those barriers to entry, getting rid of all those pain points that you currently have on other layer ones, other blockchain, other DEXs, other DAPs. Solana has been breaking the mold and they continue to do so. Uh, and I believe that, that they're gonna continue to do the same thing and that's only gonna help it bring more people in, but not only bring more people in, but retain the people that they bring in. And then we take a look at another project. There's a project called Grass. Uh, Solana-based AI project Grass announces final epoch of closed beta. Uh, so Grass stated that the beta allowed it to verify that it could reach 100% of the web with only two companies also capable of doing it, capturing and monopolizing the value accrued by AI development. It's got so much going for it. You can go ahead and throw AI in there too. Now, the one unique thing about Solana versus something like Ethereum is Solana doesn't have any layer two roll up. So everything that happens happens on the main net, happens on the main Solana network. Now, what does that mean for the token price? I can't go out and pay for gas fees using Polygon. I can't use it, uh, do it using Mantle or any other layer two solution that you might use because, well, the layer one is clunky or they want you to use the layer two. Everything happens on the base chain. Everything is used with a Solana token as a gas token, which creates buying pressure for people that are using the apps and dApps. Here's another project, or here's another thing that went live, uh, Blinks. So this is from Dialect. Two weeks ago, we launched Solana Action and Blockchain Links, also known as Blinks. Since then, the engagement has exploded with hundreds of devs building Blinks on X. So you can pretty much turn any website, you can add a hyperlink to where you click it, or it provides you the interface to be able to use the Solana network via USDC or the Sol token to tip a creator, to buy a product, to, to, to play around and adapt, whatever you need to do, that could be created on any website, including social media uh, platforms like X. Again, pain points gone, breaking the barrier to entry, super exciting stuff. And then of course, the much anticipated Fire Dancer. Everyone always talks about Solana's good, but the network has gone down too many times, which is a viable, viable thing to worry about, right? Uh, well, what if I told you that this one thing, this one validator client is going to get rid of all those issues, those DDoS attacks that brought the network outages, those will be gone. Scalability, that will be here, allowing up to potentially over 1 million transactions per second on Solana, not just in theory, but in actual real time, that is potentially coming with Fire Dancer. If everything goes as planned, I want to share this post here from one of the uh, people, one of the devs working on the Fire Dancer client. Uh, this is an update. Full Fire Dancer, Fire Dancer client built its first accepted block on the Solana testnet. So it's currently on the testnet. And as of the latest information we have, summer of 2024 is when we're expecting it to go live on the mainnet. Could that get pushed out potentially? We only have really a month and a half left of summer of 2024. We know Solana's got their big breakpoint event uh, in Singapore in September. Could the announcement be made there? Who knows, but we know it's right around the corner and more than likely it'll happen before 2024 is over, which is perfect timing for the next massive wave in this pool market. Uh, of course, what you are not seeing here is that Fire Dancer built another three blocks after this got skipped, then detected that it had mismatched against the rest of the cluster, and then summarily shut down. Uh, fixing that is a tomorrow problem. These are all things you want to find on the testnet. That is the whole purpose. Do the testnet, figure out what's wrong, where are the pain points, get rid of them, and then launch on the mainnet. So this thing is still under construction. They're working on it, but 
You got one of the largest firms, uh, Jump Trading, Jump Crypto, behind building these validated clients, and they got some of the best developers that are behind the process of building Fire Dancer. Now, let's take a look at Solana's price action. Pretty damn bullish. It's a Solana against USDT, uh, according to Coinbase. We take a look here. We had this trend line that's really stayed intact since November of last year. We've bumped up against this trend line as support quite a few times, going all the way back to around December of 2023. And every time that we've hit this trend line as support, we've seen pretty big rallies. Let's take a look at this trend line touching here around December 7th, 2023. We saw a rally of around 100%. The next one, this was on January of 2024, touched the trend line, had a rally of 23%. The next one right here, February of 2024, this is a big one, touched the trend line, came back for over 106% gains for Solana. And then the more recent one, this was back on May 15th, trend line support gained around 35%. Now we did lose that trend line, which of course is bearish. It did act as resistance in the short term. And now we are currently trading at this level again. So in real time, how will Solana react to this, to this resistance of around $170? We are currently bumping up against that right now. We throw on the Ichimoku cloud. We can see here, where is the trend? Pretty bullish here. And let me get rid of this trend line. As we came below the cloud, but we blew right through it, came back, built support on top of it. Now, can we potentially retest the top end of this of this cloud? Absolutely. That price target would be around $155 going all the way out to August 5th. And if you go past August 5th, then the number does drop to under $150. But good news here on the daily, the cloud is turning from red to green, very bullish. Price is trading above both the EMAs and the cloud, also very, very bullish. But again, how is Solana going to react to that resistance line? We used to be support, now resistance of $170. If we're able to reclaim and have follow through with volume, which we're looking like we're doing right now, the very next level that we need to take out is $187.51. And then it's back, running it back to $210. There's really nothing standing in the way once we get to that $187 to going right back up to $210. Now, I said $1,000 has been our base case or, or kind of our higher upside target for Solana in this bull market cycle. With everything that's been unfolding, everything that they're doing, expecting more big announcements in the next few months, Fire Dancer coming online, more amazing dApps. And as Jupiter continues to gain more market dominance over Uniswap and Ethereum, we believe a $1,500 a to $2,000 Solana is definitely in the cards. We believe $1,000, which is only uh, less than a 10X from here, if Solana can continue to do what it's been doing, it can improve on what it's been doing, and it can usher in the next wave of retail and keep them in the ecosystem. Solana is going to have a rally, uh, as Donald Trump says, that we've never seen before. The greatest rally in the history of Solana. That is what we're expecting for Sol. What is your thoughts on Solana? What is your most bullish price analysis. What do you think price prediction wise Solana will get to in this cycle? Drop that in the comment section. Also come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.